what did I have for breakfast? <laughs> Since when have you taken an interest in that? Oh, making conversation, is that right? I'll tell you what you're doing, you're creeping. Oh, you've been creeping three times a day since you left. I will find out, you know. We find out everything in the end. Now, Steve, have you been kissing blokes again? <laughs> oh, dear. Well, some might say I touched a nerve, darling. <laughs> anyway, listen, I better give you more my hand. And thanks again for the crawly, guilt-induced lilies, which traditionally mean death, by the way. <laughs> All right, I will. See you then. Bye-bye. Hmm. Now, technically, they could have been for me. Oh, you think you're Steve's honey bunny, dear? Uh, maybe not. <laughs> mm. Although, I've not heard him call you honey bunny. Mm. Well, we're usually alone. Oh, say no more. <laughs> <sighs> so, you still think he's up to something? Hmm. Steve, Lloyd and a barrel full of ale. Possibilities are endless. The possibilities are fairly limited. They got wrecked and passed out. Hmm. I'll have another crack at Lloyd. <clears throat> what are the signs of a liar again? Well, they touch the nose or the nose grows <laughs> or the pants set on fire. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, I was actually losing interest till they arrived. I'll put them in the bar, add a bit of colour. I shall have the truth by lunchtime. It's in Lloyd. Whatever. Did you seriously just say that? I know what pure I want it. It's this place, monkey see, monkey do. <laughs> you do the splits? Yeah. Really? Yeah, no. <laughs> do you know what? What am I doing? Look, can you just tell Lloyd that I want to chat when he gets a minute? When he gets a minute? He sits on his backside for a living. <laughs> Oh, there's a woman in here, 87 years old, and she can do the splits. Yeah, can you just tell him? Hmm? Yeah, I'll tell him. Hey, there's a rattling sound in the back of my car. Oh, what's it sound like? Literally like a football rattle. Like there's a guy sitting in the back in 1922 supporting Preston North End. If I could smell woodbines, I'd be deeply suspicious. Mm. Shell is looking for you. Right. Wanted to chat. Okay. Mm, what have you done now? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Why don't you take to Kevin while we're quiet? What? The car! Might be a rattlesnake curled up in your boot. Oh! <gasps> or a jigsaw in your glove compartment. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Was she around? I heard she was looking for me. That's right. She's gone off the idea of Steve and wondered if you and her have a future together. Okay. Tell her I'm flattered, but he's a mate. I couldn't do that to a mate. <laughs> Although, coming to think about it, he's more of a colleague than a mate. Uh -huh. I'd give it a whirl, see how it went. She's gone off to the cafe looking for you. It should be two minutes. What can I get you? No, no, I'll go catch up with her now. Who's the lucky lady? Ah, uh, she is. This is the source of her newfound suspicion. Suspicion, you say? Hmm. He sends a dozen lilies. She assumes that he's robbed a bank or drowned ten puppies. I slept with the car as well. <laughs> well, I'll soon put it straight, don't you worry. Hey, nothing happened that night, you know. I don't know why you send him flowers. He's innocent. See you soon. Lloyd. Yep. I hope he is, for both his sakes. Of course he is. He's as white as those tulips on the bar. Yeah.
some water on it. The leaves provide the colour and the flavour. Yet remain in the back. Biodegradable too, I should imagine, and most importantly of all, cheap. It's perfect. They keep tampering with it though, don't they? Brown ones, pyramids, drawstrings. Mm, gimmicks. But the thing itself is a thing of beauty. And they've even got the name right on this one, I know. Tea bag. It literally is a bag of tea, whereas a shoe on isn't a horn. Yeah, if ever I was on Desert Island Disc, I think I'd have that as my luxury item. A shoehorn? Yeah, an endless supply of tea bags. I mean, you could boil water easily enough. Mm, not sure I could live without the milk. Well, they'd have goats, presumably. Oh, you won't catch me milking a goat. UHT, I'd say. Oh, there's another one, UHT. Brilliant. Milk, that needn't be refrigerated. Fetch me the checkbook, where do I sign? Oh, Blanche likes UHT. She keeps them in a bedroom. I'm always saying to her, how can you drink UHT in your own home? Boys? Ah, morning. Hey, morning. Good morning. Who? Michelle. Michelle. Oh, she asked if I'd seen you. And what did you say? Oh, you like this. I says, what? Ever. <laughs> you must be getting anxious now, surely. No. Rebecca, there's a woman coming after us with a butterfly net, and you, me and Steve, we're the butterflies. And any minute now, it's going to come whack right down our heads. She's looking for you, Lloyd, not me. No, no one's coming after me with a butterfly net. You're the one who slept with him. Shh. Did you seem angry? Not overly. I'm just suspicious, maybe, and intense. But no, no she's just no one angry. Well, she's got no idea of the scale of the crime yet, has she? Or the cover-up involved. But if this comes out... It, it's not gonna come out, is it? You could blab about a thing like this, eh? She'd be crushed. And I mean, I like the girl. I could never do that to her. He's phoning you three times a day, asking you what you had for breakfast, sending you flowers, his mates avoiding you, the red lights flashing, Michelle. 125, please. Listen, he's probably just been to a strip club or something. Even so, I want to know about it. Excuse us. No, not at all. Much obliged. You know it could happen. Even to Steve. What's that supposed to mean? What, you don't think another woman could find Steve attractive? Listen, that bloke in Malta could just as easily have been a bird. <laughs> <clears throat> Any of you lots in Lloyd? Whatever. He ring garage. Now, ten minutes ago when we was walking past, talking to Tyrone about a rattling sound or something. What do you want Lloyd for, anyhow? Oh, just think of me as the Gestapo. Please, don't talk about the Gestapo. Many of my family lost their lives. Um, sorry, Vicky, I was I was just being throwaway. Uh, anyway, now I know where he is. I'm having him. Oh. Alright, mate. We we was just saying me and Kev. Sign looks good. Outside the factory there with a with the letters and they look good. Something of yours seems to have strayed. <laughs> Not the first time that's been said, eh, Kev? <laughs> <laughs> it's a monkey wrench. Ignore it. Yeah, I was talking about the tool. I've got a client arriving in 15 minutes. Yeah, and? And I don't want that line there when they arrive. The deal's off. There was a monkey wrench on your forecourt. <laughs> <laughs> Tyrone, can I have a word? Tyrone, go and move that monkey wrench this instant. Just one second. Don't make a do with it, boss. Just kick it six inches to the left of your bit. Whew! Back on our property now. That was close though, wasn't it, eh? You realise your entire business could have collapsed this afternoon if it wasn't for Tyrone's boot? Oh, smile, it's called Yuma. Miserable sod. I just in light. And please, if you say whatever, I will kill you. Yeah, he's coming to collect his car in 20 minutes. He said he was going to the park to feed the ducks. Right, so is that what he told you to tell me, is it? Well, it's just what he said he was doing while he waited. Oh, no, you are. So he did say, if you see Michelle, tell her, you know, about the ducks. Mm. <laughs> no, um, yeah, pathetic. So, uh, what was all that about? I don't know. To be honest, I thought it was weird when Lloyd said he was going feeding the ducks. Lloyd, pick up the medical centre. Call to help Miss Honeybunny. You might be in luck. Tell her I'll be there in about five and a half seconds. Where's she going? 
I think I can manage that, Eileen. Hey, she might already be in a closet. <laughs> See you later, kid. See ya. Well, well me, look what Sona said. Thinking he could talk to us like that. Yeah. Hey, I've got an idea. When he comes out, I'll run up behind him, bend over, and you push him over. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. I think people should do stuff like that more often. Are you serious? Yeah. Look, there's no one inside, there's no one outside. Is she in there with you? Oh, all right, look. I'm gonna drive around for a while so Michelle can't find me. I'll see you later. Why? Whoa! What have you got to hide? Michelle? Honey bunny, actually. Now start talking. And we're back on the streets in half an hour. So you're Honey Bunny? Mm-hmm. And you look like a rabbit who's been caught in the headlights. Do I? Why are you avoiding me? I'm... I'm working. We're rushed off our feet. You're hiding something. What, me? Something happened with Steve. <sighs> Not that again. Oh, you are so shifty. I can't help that. I inherited the shifty gene from me, Dad. What happened, Lloyd? What's he hiding? Nothing, I swear. He's sending me flowers. He's texting me. He's calling me. You, you are his girlfriend. He misses you. No. He's guilty of something. Remind me never to buy any girlfriend of mine flowers if this is the reaction you get. I want the truth, Lloyd. And I'm going nowhere till I get it. All right, well, I'm going to put the meter on. You are? Well, you're going to sit in my cab. You're going to pay the fare. Fine. I don't care what it costs. I'll get to the truth. Right, well... <clears throat> best make myself all comfy. This could take a while. <laughs> hmm. You know, you're nearly up to five quid. Yeah. Nice big tip for you, you know, when you do spill the beans. Look, this is harassment. I've done nothing wrong. Steve has. No. Oh, look, I've, I've got nothing else to say. You're coming free yet, Lloyd? Don't answer it. I've got who? I only need to know where I am at all times. Lloyd to base. Yeah, I'm still P.O.B. Where are you headed, Lloyd? Are you over? Nowhere. Just sat here with the passenger, wasting time, going nowhere. Over. Hard to say, really. Could be here all day. <laughs> Michelle to base. I'm just having a quiet word with him. Over. Tell him not to forget to pick up lunch at the one o'clock club. Will do. Over. Oh, Michelle. How many more times? This is ridiculous. You are hiding something, and I want to know what. <sighs> Look. There is something, but you've got to swear you never heard it from me. Oh, just tell me what it is. Not here. Why not? I've got to go and pick Blanche up. There is no way I am letting you out of my sight. I I've got to pick Blanche up. Meet me... half an hour. Okay. But don't come back to the pub, though. I'll, I'll meet you in Roy's. Roy's? Okay. And you better be there. I mean it. I will hunt you down, Lloyd. You know I will. Why should I get it in the neck just because he can't? What? Oh, it doesn't matter. Lloyd, finish your sentence. Just because he can't. I'm in enough trouble as it is. Just because he can't? Keep his paperwork in order. Oh. So Michelle kidnapped you so she could talk to you about Steve's appalling admin skills. <laughs> what am I going to do? Look, I feel awful. It's my mate. Yeah, well, you'll feel better if you get it off your chest. Look, I suppose you deserve to know what kind of bloke you're living with. And he's a slime ball for not telling you himself. Go on. Whoa! <laughs> Silly me. Uh, am I getting this coffee then or what? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Um... 
go on. Coffee. Look, we went drinking like I said, don't we? He didn't sleep on my floor. He didn't sleep at all. Went on a bender. What drinking, you mean? Well, not just drinking. Went to the casino. Where? Town. Back of the Arndale Centre. Tanai. You know it. Yeah, I worked there for about a week. Well, it was supposed to be just a laugh, you know, blow a few quid on the roulette and blackjack. Only Steve blew a lot more. How much? I kept telling him to walk away, but he was like a crazed demon. How much did he blow? Near enough five grand. What was he doing with that sort of money? Credit card, I think. Let me swear I wouldn't tell anyone. Especially you. Oh, yeah, I bet he did. <sighs> so, I've checked all his credit card bills and his bank statements. No large purchases on the night in question. You know, Tony would cut my hands off if they caught me going through his private stuff. Yeah, well, we share everything. Or I thought we did. Bit racy for Steve, though, isn't it? I mean, I could see him losing a five on a game of tiddlywings, but... Well, you'll probably never find out the full story. Right. <clears throat> I'm ringing Steve. Well, he's hardly going to admit he blew a load of money gambling, is he? I'll be subtle, don't worry. Hiya, babe. Hi. It's me. <laughs> right, so when I casually mentioned that the casino had phoned to say they'd found his coat... What did he say? Said he hadn't been near a casino or lost his coat. Well, it would do, wouldn't it? Yeah, I know, but there was no awkward pauses or... I mean, sometimes when Steve lies, you can hear the panic in mm. his voice because it goes up about three octaves. If Lloyd's already been on to him. Mm. He hasn't been anywhere near a casino and I believe him. So Lloyd's telling porkies. Yeah, but why? I think it's pretty obvious, don't you? What the lager is it, Lloyd? Oh, please. Oh, by the way, I don't mind you lying to me about the casino. Lying? Yeah. You know, you're protecting your mate. That's good. I'd want my mate to do the same. Mm. Trouble is, you've made me even more suspicious. And I'm going mad here. Oh, talk to Steve. No, I reckon I've rumbled you. I've worked it out. Yeah? Oh, I'm not stupid. You're both acting really weird. You went to a lap dancing club, didn't you? Maybe even indulge Steve's soft spot for cross dresses. I'm right at it's okay, I won't tell him you told me. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I went to a lap dancing club. Nah, he's lying. It's the truth. You're pathetic. I'll get it out of you eventually, Lloyd. This time I really have rumbled it. Oh, look, I've, to I've told you everything I know himself into trouble, didn't he? A fight? Got arrested? Spent the night in a cell, maybe? Something like that? Yeah. Something like that. He's still lying. Well, look, will you two just get off my case? The psycho wife from hell gone, has she? Uh, no, she's staying around a bit longer, actually. Well, you better keep her well away from me. Oh, come on, Lord, she's not all bad. Yes, yeah, she is. A hundred percent rotten to the core. Oh, well, she's good to the kids, especially Finn. The... Um, put it down your neck. Mm. Go up and get them mackerel fillets under the grill. Oh, can't wait. <laughs> uh, hang on a minute, love. Um, yeah, mate. It's yours. 
outfit. It's a refund on some of the money that my ex swindled out of you. Uh, I don't see why you should go clearing up after our mess. Well, I can get it back off her, can't I? Hey, don't see why you should be out of pocket. No, man, just just make sure she stays well clear of me and we'll call it quits, yeah? Lloyd, take the money. Mad, totally mad. Yeah, well, he's a neighbour and a mate. Uh, yeah, and you're a mug. One last go. If I don't guess right, I'll drop the subject forever, I promise. Okay, if you must. Just like with another woman. No? No way. No, absolutely no chance. That's... that's ridiculous. It's true. I feel awful now. What for making me see what was staring me in the face? I was only winding you up. All makes sense. No, not necessarily. You know, there might be a simple explanation. You can't be sure he's cheated on you. I'm gonna find out who he is. All right, Michelle, calm down. I am gonna track her down. And when I do, I will kill her. I'll kill them both. No, she had really thick eyebrows. She smelt mints. I don't know every policewoman in Manchester, you know. Oh. Well. If you do meet her, steer well clear, because she's a bad one. Do you smell like mints, like peppermint? Or... No, as in um, choppy beef. All right. Hello. All right. <laughs> get in there. Hey, is your mum still knocking about? Somebody said they'd seen her. Worst luck, I can't get rid. Have you tried a stun gun or a cattle prod? I'm toying with it. <laughs> do you know, I don't usually take an instant dislike to people. With her, I'm fighting a losing battle. Uh, didn't you used to go with Mel's dad, Eileen? Not really, no. I mean, he was mad about me, obviously. I mean, who wouldn't be? You sure you ain't in her mum? Ain't just jealousy, cos she's got him and you are Positive, Becky. Uh, no, they're not back together, are they? Can you do me a bacon bun? I'll start with shifting a bit. So, um, what were you and Jerry then? Just like that chemistry? Well, judging from your mum, I just wasn't rough enough for him. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear daddy. Happy birthday to you. Hey! Oh, anyway, we thought I might have got you, but uh, that was me and Amy singing Happy Birthday to oh, you. Oh, and, that, and uh, me on the drums. <laughs> anyway, listen, we hope you have a lovely day. 34, eh? Well, you can't be 34, cos I'm only 28. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you want to say happy birthday to Steve? I'm getting a hot pot. Uh, Michelle's just getting a hot pot at the moment. But we'll try it again a bit later, and I'm going to ring Andy's mobile now. All right, lots of love. Why don't you want to talk to him? Oh, maybe she thinks he's playing away. What are you saying that for? Um, a laugh. You know, there are some things you don't joke about, all right? You want to make yourself useful, sort that freezer out. I don't. Uh, you could have at least wished him happy birthday. Who rolled their cage? Dogs. One shepherd's pie with extra cheese. Thanks very much. And one tea with two sugars. So. <laughs> Michelle's still asking questions. Mm, don't touch what you can't afford, love. I've told her he went to a casino. I've told her he went lap dancing. She knows I'm lying. Well, he doesn't look like a lap dancer. A belly dancer, maybe. She knows he's done the dirty with someone. I tell you what, why don't you try lightening up? Then it might not be so obvious you're lying. I'm not enjoying this, you know. Covering up for you two, screwing up. Would you like anything else, sir? Yeah. Steve, back here to sort out his own mess. He's a joker, that's what he is. Who's he slept with? Well, I think the only person you can rule out is Liz. I bet it was some skanky girl he picked up in a club. I bet she's got really vile hair extensions and a skirt so short you can see her knickers. Stop getting yourself into a state. You might be making a mountain out of a molehill yet. I will find out who she was, you know. Yeah, well, till he gets back. The only person who really knows what happened is Lloyd. Maybe not just lied. Huh? Leanne! 
I uh, just need to nip out for a bit. It won't be long. All right, where are you off? Oh, just want to try Steve again. You know, wish him happy birthday. And you have to nip out for that? I need to be away from prying ears, Vernon. Where are you going? Tell you later. Yeah, can you pick up a Mrs Fowler from the precinct? she would be outside the pound shop. She's wearing a canary yellow scarf. Those are her words, not mine. I think you're funny, you, don't you? Oh, lovely to see you too, Michelle. Oh, well, forgive me if I dispense with the niceties, but I am so not in the mood to get pally. Well, I don't think I'm that funny, but I think I'm funnier than you. Oh, I'll tell you something funny. I'll tell you something really funny, shall I? Cast your mind back about a year or so, you go on a holiday with my fella. If you think something went on between me and Steve in Malta, then you're very much mistaken. Well, I wouldn't put anything past him at the moment. Get out, Michelle. I don't need this right now. Oh, and I do. Well, why are you banging on about Malta, then? Cos you lied for him. When you got back. Made out nothing had happened on that holiday when actually, oh yeah, he cut for a tranny. You covered for him, Eileen. Just like you're covering for him now. You got me red-handed. He phoned me not five minutes since. Told me about all the trannies he's kissing in Spain. He's got a bed full, apparently. I'm not talking about Spain. Well, what are you talking about? Because I can't read your mind. Oh, don't make out like you don't know. You're as thick as thieves in this dump. Oh, I'm going to tell him you said that. The last night. The one he can't account for. One minute he's lap dancing, the next he's at a casino. He copped off with someone and you know who it is. Well, this is the way you carry on, is it? Any wonder he does the dirty. Oh, so he did then? I don't know what he did or what he didn't. I don't even know what you're talking about. And actually, Michelle, I don't care. So take your anger and your jealousy and go elsewhere to offload it. You know something. You're a disgrace to women, do you know that? I think you should look in the mirror, love. Well, Lloyd knows something. Newsflash, I'm not Lloyd. And I'm not a disgrace to women. How dare you say that? Well, I'm sorry, but can you blame me? I'm going off my head with all this. Michelle, I don't want to fall out with you. I haven't got the faintest idea what you're talking about. And if Steve did do the dirty, then this is the first I've heard of it. And I'll be pulling him up on it as soon as he steps through that door. I can do without being screamed at when I'm meant to be working. I'm sorry. And contrary to popular belief, your fella and me are not joined at the hip. I know. And if you think this place is a dump, see the boss. Streetcars. I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Yes, love. Happy now? Not really, no. Did you speak to him? Who? Duh, Steve. <laughs> Don't say duh to me. Uh, I think I'll just go and collect some glasses. <clears throat> She's a good lass, isn't she? Lovely. Heart of gold. A hey, great lass. She's all right, yeah. I think I'll just go and part of my nose. No, she is a nice girl, Liam. Uh, you and Steve had a domestic? No. Oh, it's just that you seem a bit... Uh... I mean, I know she used to be hooked on drugs and work as a prostitute, but deep down inside, she is a really nice girl. Oh, yeah, it's a great CV. Oh, Steve likes her. Does he? I always looked out for her. I mean, when she's had problems in the past, he has been a tower of strength to her. I brought my boys up well. See somebody in trouble, always help them out. I think that's part of the reason he gave her a pay rise, because he felt bad about looking down in cellar. Well, as you do. He gave her a pay rise? She's a reformed character. Oh, but he loves her warts and all. No, he doesn't love her. He loves you. Good. Foxy chick, no. Bit cheap looking. Yeah, well, some fellas like that. They're, they're not me, obviously. So let me get this straight. Steve's been having an affair with Leanne. Well, affair's a bit strong. One night stand. And your proof is? What are you sticking up for her for? Ah, uh, I'm not. Listen, if our Paul hadn't been sleeping with her, he'd still be alive. I'm not saying I like the woman. Makes sense though, doesn't it? I mean, sex means nothing to her. Ooh, do you think she charged him? I dread to think. She's probably got a chip and pin machine in her handbag. What are you gonna do? Find the evidence. No two bit slapper makes a fool out of me.
Morning. 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 You all right? Couldn't sleep. You're not still worried about Steve, are you? It's all in your head. If there was anything, I'd tell you. Yeah? Like he told me about that tranny. <laughs> oh, well, you can hardly blame him. You don't think that he's playing away, do you? Because that is ridiculous. He wouldn't. He loves you to bits. Yeah, well, he's hiding something, Liz. Well, it's definitely not that. Look, Steve, if you keep saying you're sorry, I'm going to fall out with you again. Dan is fine now. Anyway, I thought we sorted all this out the other night. I thought we'd made up. Right, so forget about Dan then. How's it going over there? <laughs> oh, you'd never. <laughs> well, all you're going to be fit for now is lying on a beach. <laughs> yeah, right, you in the nuddy section. OK, when you get back, I'll be checking you out bits then. <laughs> Yeah, I oh will. All right. See you soon. Bye. <laughs> oh, are you? Just me, Steve. You phoned to talk to you. Well, he seemed happy enough talking to you instead. Oh, uh, happy birthday, by the way. Oh, I take you've seen the poster on the bus shelter, then? I believe it was on the wall of the medical centre. Hiya. Thanks for the card. Oh, you're all right. <laughs> so, what are you doing to celebrate, then? Don't know yet. Nothing much, probably. Four pounds fifty, then, please. All right. Yep. Right, well, the best get these back, eh? See ya. See ya. You, uh, you sent him a card. Yeah, but it were a funny un. It, is, is that relevant? Funny is what you send a mate. If it was happy, then you'd have cause to worry. You all right, Michelle? Yep. Why wouldn't I be? I just seem a little bit tense. Sorry. I just, um had a bad night's sleep, that's all. Oh, yeah. Little David Platt had a grown-up's party, didn't he? <laughs> you know loads of people around here, don't you? Yeah, lived here ages. Hmm. Liz was saying, um <clears throat> that you and Steve go way back. Yeah, I suppose. I guess that's why you felt so awkward about the cellar thing. You know, falling out with him. I suppose that's why you were so keen to go after him. Well, he still shouldn't have done what he did. Yeah. That's what I mean. It was big of you. Well, I suppose I'm just that type of girl. Hmm. Just finished building a second classroom and now we are making some tables. Oh, well, I thought they already made them. <laughs> well, they have, yeah, but that, that, that's taken a few weeks to arrive. It's a little out of date. We exchange nightly emails. Oh. I have to say, there's, there's something personal about seeing her actual handwriting. Oh. <laughs> Any, anyway, yeah. You don't know how to deal with stains, do you? I, I just thought a cafe you must deal with stains all the time. What, what sort of stains? No idea. Booze, probably. Oh, from the party last night. Oh, it didn't keep you awake too, did it? No, what with Ken snoring at the side of me and my mother underneath. You don't all share a bed, do you? No, I meant through the floor. Are they bad? Stand out a mile. They will to Gail anyhow. Oh, I bet it's red wine. That's the worst culprit. Try pouring white wine on them. It, it cancels it out or something. Bit of a waste, though. Actually, my mother always said milk was the best thing. I don't know why. Well, you could try salt. Apparently, the crystals absorb the red pigment. Wine, milk, salt, cheers. Anyway, I'll have to go, Roy. Uh, give her my love, will you? I will. <laughs> 
Hey, why don't you and me go for a drink tonight? We've not done that for ages, have we? Yeah, I, I suppose Jason might be in the pub. <laughs> Oi! It's not to do with it. Just thought you needed a bit of cheering up, that's all. Next time I'll keep my cup shut. S uh, sorry, no, no that, that would be nice, yes. <laughs> right. And if he does happen to be there, I shall just ignore him. <clears throat> See? She's not here. I told you I'd nothing to worry about. I wasn't worried. Oh, heck. <laughs> not we could have a vodka and coke and an orange juice, please. Right. So, did Steve really sleep with someone? Oh, will you give it a rest? Well, I'll find out in the end, and I have ways of torturing you, Michelle, what you've even thought about. What's that about Michelle? Nothing. Oh, um, she's fallen out with Steve. Oh, right, that explains it then. She's been in the right mood all morning. <laughs> um, what, what, what was it you wanted with that? Was it tonic? Coke, Coke, thanks. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, come on, what's Stevie boy done? If I had people bidding for that answer, I would be a very rich man. I'll buy you a drink. I want orange juice. It's hardly tempting. Oi, you're here to work, not chat. Hey, just because you've had a row with Steve, don't be taking All right, that's me. it. Get out. I'm sorry. Whoa, you can't do that. I, I can do what I like. Uh, Go on. Michelle. You're not the boss. Anyway, what am I supposed to have done? You know exactly what you've done. I'm not going to spell it out. Well, I think you're better because this isn't fair. You all right, sis? No, oh, it's an eel, Ed. And this isn't out to do with you. It's between me and her. She's crazy. What's going on? I've no idea, Liz. Except she's trying to sack me. It's not your place to sack me. Well, you'd sack her and all if you knew what she'd done. So go on. All right, then. If you must know. She slept with Steve and I want her out. Is this true? No, of course it's not. Are you off your head? Oh, you've been laughing and joking about it all morning. And then I heard you flirting with him on the phone. <laughs> Who's been telling you this? Well, I don't need anyone to tell me, love. I can see it for myself. Well, I'm sorry, but you do because you've got it all wrong. So when am I supposed to have slept with him anyway? Oh, eh? after all that stuff in the cellar. When he walked out and you went off to talk to him. Except you didn't do much talking, did you? This is the night I didn't come up. Oh, yeah. Because he didn't need to, did he? He was getting it from a professional. Whoa, you watch your mouth, lady. Do you know what? I could give you a right good slap. All right, that's enough. But I'm not going to, because you know what? I feel sorry for you. Do you know where I was that night you are talking about? I was at the hospital. I was there all night. Oh, you're lying. You probably did visit Dan, yeah? And then you went straight from his bed into Steve's. There's no talking to you, is there? You're just going to believe what you want to believe. Bet it won't just that night either, was it? I bet it's been going on for ages. I bet that you were sleeping with him when you were sleeping with our Paul. Get lost. Probably why I wouldn't ban you when I asked him to. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm not going to stand here and listen to all this anymore. You can stick the job the pair of you. And Coronation Street continues in half an hour. She's not worth it. Do you know what? I feel so for Steve. You're a flaming nutter. Look, this is getting way out of hand. We're going to have to tell her. Oh, no, Lloyd, please. Come on. You, you promised Steve. Yeah, but what about Leanne? She could lose her job. Well, who needs three jobs anyway? It's plain greedy, is that? That's not just that job, is it? <laughs> it's hardly a reputation. Do you think this is funny? No, I don't. It's a total mess. I wish I could help Leanne. I really do, but... If I come clean, I won't just get it in the net from Michelle. That will be me and Jason. Over with. Peggy, you're not even together. And we never will be if this comes out. We won't look at me twice. We should have thought about that before you slept with Steve. I know. Story of my life, innit? I mess everything up. Yeah. Yeah, well, go on then. Tell her. Tell everyone. I'm used to people looking at me like I'm muck. And I, I was probably kidding myself about Jason anyway, you know? Oh, oh, look at me, eh? Come on. I could kill Steve. I mean, all this is kicking off, and where's he? Sunning himself on some flaming beach. It's always me, innit? 
Whenever some bloke drops his trousers, I'm the one that people blame. Well, she's just a stupid, paranoid cow. Well, it's not just her, is it? I mean, I could be flipping Prime Minister and folk round here would still think of me as an ex-prosy. What's going on? Oh, Leanne's been sacked for sleeping with Steve. You what? Let me just rephrase that. So you reckon Lloyd knew all about it, then? Of course he did. The thickest things are in Steve. But you know what really gets to me? What? They didn't let me in on it. Do you want a drink? I'd know what better than what. Better get back to work. Yeah, she's a good guy. Get Michelle, please. Uh, Michelle? Leanne's here. Uh, I don't want any trouble. It won't be. Actually, I could probably just manage one more. Hmm, yeah. What? Come on. What Leanne said was true. She was at the hospital all night. Now do I know you're not covering for her? Because if she wasn't, I'd be asking the same thing, wouldn't I? Look, if you don't believe me, ask me Dad, because he was there with her. He was sat in the waiting room all night, and the ward sister can vouch for it. So next time you have a flash of inspiration, do us all a favour, eh? Take a pill and lock yourself in a dark room. Come on. It was all in your head. Would you listen? Just because it wasn't Leanne doesn't mean that I'm wrong. All right, that is enough. Stop right there. Where are you going? You all right? No. No, I'm not. First it's strange kids turning up throwing tantrums. Then it's her imagining things. Now to top it all, we've lost a barmaid. I know. It's like living in a madhouse here. Still, we've always got each other. Hmm? Yeah. Hey, babe, I've, I've had a brilliant idea. Not now, eh? No, 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 listen. You know I said Nelson was selling his bar? Hmm? Why don't we buy it? Just so you can carry on playing your gigs. Bit extreme, isn't it? No, think about it. We're sick of living in this place, yeah? But we still like running a bar. Well, this would be ideal. It's, it's even got living quarters. You're serious, are you? Oh, babe, you, you, you'd love it. It's, it's, it's in a cellar, yeah? It's, it's, you know, real smoky atmosphere, you know? Well, I mean, I mean without the smoke. It's like something out of the 30s. I, I can just see you there in one of your slinky dresses, front of house. Now, you can do it up how you wanted. I can organise the live music. It'll be something that we can do together. You know, something that we can call our own. Could be the answer to all our problems. How could we afford it? Well, I don't know how much it is yet. Anyway, if you want something enough, you can always find a way. That's a big thing. Let me think about it. Yeah, yeah, of course. What is it this time? I've murdered your grandparents. I'm sorry. I feel awful. And how do you think I felt? Being tied and feathered in front of the whole pub. I know. Leanne, if I could take it back. Well, you can. Look, I haven't been sleeping and my head's everywhere. I told you it wasn't true. That should have been enough. I know. Do you know what really gets me? I thought we were becoming mates. We were. We still could be. In your dreams. Tell you what, go and find somebody else to hang your dirty washing on, eh? You'll come back, though, please. <laughs> what, to salve your conscience? I think you're just gonna have to live with it. But, Leanne... I think the conversation's over, don't you?
are you doing? You were right. It wasn't Leah. Does it try telling you? So who was it then, Lloyd? I feel like I'm going crazy. Every woman I see, I'm wondering if it's them. I keep going back over things in my head, trying to trying to work out if there's something I might have missed, some clue or. Look, nothing happened, honest. You know that's not true. And yet you can sit there and look me in the face and say that. Look, I've got a fair to pick up. So pick them up then. Still no sign of Michelle, then? No. Do you know what? I've had enough of this. Let's go for it. What? Well, you mean the... The bar? Yeah, let's do it. Now, you're not just saying that to please me? No. I've had enough of being caught up in the middle of everybody else's problems. Well, you're right. Maybe it's what we need. A new direction in life. Something we can really get our teeth into. I can uh, arrange a viewing. Well, go on, then. What, now? Well, yeah. We don't want somebody else snapping it up, do we? <laughs> right, OK. Let's rock and roll! <laughs> <laughs> So who was it? Someone I know. What the blog's mad about yet? Or was it someone you met that night? You're being paranoid. Well, is it any wonder after all your lies? First, it was gambling. Then it was lap dances. I mean, even when all that stuff Willie Ann was going on, you still wouldn't come clean. So what am I supposed to think? Look, you've got nothing to worry about. He loves you to bits. Lloyd, I need to know who it was. Here you go, darling. Oh. There, I love. Keep the chain. Oh, cheers now. Who was it? Oh, for God's sake, Michelle. Who was it? Look, if you want to know the truth, I'll tell you. Just remember, it's you that dragged it out of me. Go on in. I can take it. If you must know, he's going to propose to you. That's the big secret. He's going to propose. Yeah, we sat up till oh, three, four in the morning, knocking back the whiskey. And all he could talk about was you. It's Michelle this, Michelle that. How wonderful you were. We just sat around. Yeah, I know. That's what set him off. Oh, he felt really bad about it. Uh, kept banging on about how he didn't deserve you, how he couldn't live without you. Then all of a sudden he says, you know what, Lloyd? I'm going to propose to her. This is another lie, isn't it? Did I make up something like that? Hiya! Hey, what? hiya! Hey, did you hear about all that at lunchtime? What? In the pub when Michelle... Oh, you... yeah, that... Oh. Hey now, how's your Jason flipping at K25? We're joining pension soon. Uh, uh, what was that in the, in the pub? Oh, it's just gossip, Roy. You won't be interested. Uh, Michelle only accused Leanne of sleeping with Steve. Really? Hey now, you don't want to go listening to Tittle Tattle? Uh, it's not Tittle Tattle. I was there. Leanne chucked a job in over it. Really? Yeah, then she dragged in Dan to prove that it couldn't have been her. Ah, so it all got sorted then. Yeah, but I don't think Leanne will be working there again. Well. You wouldn't, would you? Should have seen Michelle's face. Oh, bet she felt right, idiot. Poor Michelle. <laughs> Pass the time, though. <laughs> Hiya. 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 Are you going to join us? Buy my birthday boy a drink? Uh, actually, I, I don't really feel like a drinker. I'll, I'll go home, if you don't mind. Roy! Hey, you coming? Oh, best not. I've, I better see how he is. Ooh, 
Ooh, fancy getting the knock back in favour of Roy Cropper. She just doesn't want him getting the wrong idea just because she sent her car. I wasn't actually. Yeah, right. I saw your little face light up the minute you saw her. All right, Liz, I'll have uh, a vodka, lemonade, vodka and coke and two pints for us when you're ready. <laughs> I'll get him in. Oh, um, so, uh, how's Michelle? Oh, she's fine, thanks. I'll tell you what, you lot, sit down and I'll bring him on. Oh, thanks. Hiya. Yeah. Hi. Just thought I'd see how you are after all that kerfuffle yeah. this morning. Hmm. I've just said Eileen fishing for gossip too. Um, I'm not fishing for anything. Just wondered how you were coping. I know. Sorry. It's just been one of them days. You're not kidding. Well, Michelle went off in a huff and I haven't seen her since. Then I rang Leanne. She won't be budged. You know, to tell you the truth, I've just about had enough. <laughs> All sorted. It's still on the market. I've arranged a viewing for Monday. Brilliant. What's this? Uh, uh, would you mind just taking that pint over to Jason for me, please? Uh, yeah, of course. Me and Vernon are thinking about buying a bar. You what? Somebody knows it's got one for sale, so we thought, why not? But it, isn't that a bit sudden? Well, yeah, but chances like this don't come up every day, does it? Are you sure this is what you want? To be honest, right now, I can't think of anything better. But isn't it a big commitment for both of you? Yeah, I think it's something we need. Something we can both share and get excited about. Well, in that case, good luck to you. I hope you get it. It weren't my fault she thought it were Leanne. Is this what you and Lloyd were whispering about? Might have been. So? You could have gone over and put things straight, but you chose not to. Well, what do you expect? It'd be like throwing myself in front of a lorry. Any road, it all got sorted in ends, so there's no harm done. Leanne has lost her job because of it. Ah, now. She didn't got herself to blame then. She didn't have to chuck a job in. It's a waste of time, isn't it? Whatever I say, you'll find some way of justifying your actions, or in this case, lack of them. All right, so I'm a coward. Can't all be dead honest like you. Look, I, I'm not trying to hold myself up as some kind of example. I, I've made all sorts of mistakes in the past, as you well know. But well, people get hurt. One lie follows another. People get hurt. Yeah, look, you swore me to secrecy. That's why I couldn't say anything. It's going to be a big surprise. So, why go off to Spain? Um, uh, to ask Andy to be the best man, of course. Emily could have done that over the phone. Ah, well, um, <clears throat> that's not all he's gone for. Go on. Well, he's, um, he's looking for a castle for you to get married in. A castle? Mm, in Andalusia, apparently. Oh, my God. Yeah, he's got it all planned. He's even got a ring. Really? Oh, not just any old ring. You should see the size of the stone. No, 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 no. Rock. <laughs> I can't believe it. You promise you're not lying? S -s Scouts on it. If all this is true... And all the time, I was thinking it's like with another woman. Yeah, well, <clears throat> you're not to blame. Can't take it in. Oh, look, I'm, I'm really sorry, you know, for dragging it out here. And I promise I won't let Steve know that I know. Oh, please, because if he finds out what I've just told you, he'll kill me. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. <laughs> I tell her. Yeah. Well, I thought we weren't going to till we knew for definite. Well, but yeah, you better add now. Okay. <clears throat> we, uh, uh, me and Liz, we're going to have a look at a bar. Well, I'm not, because I know it, but Liz doesn't. And if we like it, well, if, if Liz likes it, we're going to take it on. 
What? And 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 move out of here? Yep. <laughs> Aren't we? It's a possibility. Yeah. Uh, now, no, don't worry. It's nothing personal. We're not trying to get away from you and Steve, but we want somewhere that's ours, don't we? Yeah. It's a bit of a music venue, you know, which, which is why I, I know it. And it's got living accommodation, so, you know, it's made for us. Well, great. I'll keep my fingers crossed. Right, then. OK, I'm going to get the bar ready. Just remember, it's you and Betty now, this dinner time on your own. Is that all right? Yeah, of course. Okay. Oh, uh, we're going to need some crates up. I'll do it. Well, I mean, we get it underneath one another's feet here, aren't we? I mean, let's be honest, it'll be the best all round. Yeah, I suppose mm. it will. Hello. Mm. Oi. Just nipping out for a fag while it's quiet. If you really feel it's essential. Too right it is. Hiya. Just the lady I've been looking for. Mm, why, what's up now? I thought you might like to know. I've had another word with Michelle. Oh, no, what, you told her? No, no, in fact, I've put her right off the scent where you and Steve's concerned, so no need to worry. So, what have you told her? Oh, state secret is that. Wait until Steve gets back, then it might all blow up. Mm. <whistles> Morning, Bex. Hiya. Well, you put a smile on his face. He didn't have a civil word for me. What, did you go out with Sean and his mate? Wish he hadn't. Why, did they convert you? You're joking, aren't you? No, I just had a few too many. Well, we'll soon sweat that out of here, lad. Come on, get in. See you later. See you, yeah. Ooh. Whoa! <laughs> Morning. Morning. Morning, Ken. Whoa, 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 stop a minute. Hey, what shampoo do you use? Uh, I don't know what it's called. I think it's supposed to be for babies. Yeah, you smell cuddly. You do! Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Becky. Yes, love? I don't suppose you know where Leanne is, do you? Er, uh, no, why? So I can apologise. Only she's not in the bookies, she's not in here. So we'll just have to wait, eh? Well, you'll, you'll see her tonight, won't you? Oh, I doubt that very much. In fact, you don't fancy being a barmaid, do you? Me? <laughs> serious? Well, I am seriously in need of some help, but don't worry. Well, yeah, I've always fancied being a barmaid. But hey, <laughs> I can look better than this. Oh, uh, right. Well, OK then. What time? Uh, about six, if that's all right. <sighs> See you then. All right. <laughs> so you're not only going back into the road for He's not there. You're going to say something about Steve and it being his pub is hundreds of miles away. Even so, you... What be... I'm doing is helping out Michelle. Which I think I deserve a certain amount of credit for. Hmm. See you tomorrow, usual time. Yes, thank you, Ken. And might you be at Rovers tonight? Oh, well, there's always that possibility. They've got this fantastic new barmaid. Dead glam, lots of class. Really? Mm -hmm. Not a lot of sense, though. Hey, you! Sorry, did, did I say that out loud? You did, yeah. I, I didn't intend to. I do apologise. So this barmaid is you? Well, I'm just helping him out. But I have done it before, a long while ago. Only there were a mix-up of money and I got that. Well, I'm sure you'll be a big success. Might see you later, then. I hope so. Thank you, Ken. Okay. Bye. Bye. I'll be back till late, but don't worry. I should be quiet when I come in. C can I just say something? And you mustn't think I'm trying to interfere in your private life. I wish somebody would sometimes. But if you really do have to work behind the bar, why the Rovers return? <sighs> they were only ones who asked me. When you've had this brief and quite calamitous relationship with its owner. Who's not there, I've told you, he's in Spain. But you understand what I'm saying. When so much of what you do seems to be... Well, inviting disaster. I'll look after myself. I wonder how often that's been said and found not to be the case. Look, I I've said I'll do it tonight, so I will, but... I know what you're saying. Yeah, I'll be careful. C can I also say... Mm. You, look you look very nice. 
Ah. Oh. Thanks. Hope they appreciate you. Hiya. Are you taking it then? Uh, we're not, no. Oh. Was it, was it not right? It was perfect. Uh, the problem is me and Vernon. We've decided that we're splitting up. You don't mean that. Yeah, I do. But why? Because it's what I want. No, it can't be. I mean, you and Vernon are... You and Vernon. Not anymore. Hello! Oh, hiya. Uh, <clears throat> Liz... I, I asked Becky uh, to come in for tonight because I, I didn't think you and Vernon would even be back. Oh, uh, no, no, you you were absolutely right. Hi. Listen, you're joining us at a bit of a funny time. Uh, Michelle will tell you what's wrong. Thank you. You had a transfer, what? More like making a guest appearance. What can I get you? Pint, please. Mm -hmm. So what's happened? You're taking Leanne's place? Mm, I suppose I have, yeah. Yeah. What was that big ding-dong between her and Michelle? Oh, don't ask me. Before my time. So, go on. We're going to congratulate you or what? I know you said don't tell anybody, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgive you. Well, I think it's too early for congratulations, really. But Steve's gone to Spain and he's told you that he's going to propose when he gets back. No, Steve hasn't told her. No, but I have it on good authority. And then she's going to say yes, aren't you? Then we can have a big fancy wedding. <laughs> What's this? What big fancy wedding? Steve and Michelle. Oh, I might as well make a public announcement. Uh, when did this happen and why wasn't I told? Because it hasn't happened, not yet. You are sure, aren't you, what you told me about Steve? Why have you rung him? Well, yeah, but I didn't mention it. Well, that's for the best, like, because he wants to surprise you. He won't like it if he knows I've spilt the beans. You! You're making me dead nervous, do you know that? What? Every time I look, you're staring at me. I didn't mean to. He's like me. He can't believe you're behind that bar. Well, maybe you're both going to have to try a bit harder then. Yeah, there. Well, remember, are you not? Well, hello. Hi, Ken. Deirdre. What can I get you? We have a wide selection of wines and spirits and some of the finest dales in England. Though the pot pies strike me as being a bit dodgy, I'd stay clear of them. <laughs> I have been in here before. Ah, uh, well, you'll know. Uh, a red wine, please, Becky. And a half a bitter, please. Yeah. Michelle, is uh, Liz out the back? Oh, she must be, because she's not been in here all day. <sighs> she's here. <laughs> you all right? No, but I'm pretending I am. Vernon's been and gone. That can't have been a lot of fun. I just felt that sorry for him. He's not calling me names, he's not even complaining that much. He just... He just seems to have accepted it. Ah. Of course, the other person I'm feeling sorry for is myself, which I've no right to do because I caused the whole thing. So I thought, right, stop moping and get out there. Good for you. Although, I'm not sure how long it'll last. You look very much at home behind the bar last night. <laughs> Ta. Why not thrilled because you've taken the second job, or was he worried about losing you altogether? I'm not being rude, Ken, but just leave it, yeah. There you are. Hey, are you, are you at Star Attraction in the Rovers last night? Not you and all. Well, Jason seems to think so. <sighs> yes, ha ha, very funny. I wasn't joking. He was full of it when he came home. When you throw a sickie, what do you say? Little as possible. Less chance of being caught. Tommy Borg or... Hang on. You've never thrown a sickie? I, I always imagine people would be able to tell. You know, like Pinocchio. You could throw one too. Ah, uh, not with my new boss. He's already on my case after yesterday. Well, mm. go in then. 
and I funnel me in. Why now after, like, well, never? I just hate him being there at the moment. Have you thought any more about retraining? What were you keeping us both? Only until you've qualified as something fabulous. Loads of couples do it. Well, we'll see. We'll see is right up there with phrases to hate, like, it's not you, it's me. Well, it depends on whether you're the one saying it or hearing it. Then, I will only say two words. Her lost man. I wish it felt like that. You all right? Vernon not answering his phone. Well, <clears throat> would you in his shoes? What if he's done something stupid? You've not changed your mind, have you? You know, regretting what you said. Nothing would make me happier. If I could say to him, I'm really sorry, I got it all wrong, come back, please. But I can't, because I didn't. No. Well, then you did the right thing. I do feel as if a weight's been lifted, but then I feel guilty at the same time. So what happens now? For starters, I'm going to take down that ridiculous photo. I am not going to inflict this on any of us anymore. Enjoy working last night. Beat stayed in and playing Scrabble with our eye. <laughs> You're not seeing anyone then? Would it bother you if I were? I have a place for you. Yeah, well, I'm not. You? Look, Becky, I know why you dumped me. Um, why? Has, uh, has Roy said to Matt? Well, I don't mean all. I acted like a right prat. Oh, you're all right. But, you know, thanks for not blaming me. I was just worried things were moving too fast. I panicked. I do understand. Honest. Great. So we can be mates then, yeah? Of course. I can buy you a drink sometime, yeah? Yeah. Business with you and Beck. Has she said something? No, she won't. Oh, well, perhaps she's finally learning a sense of propriety. Roy, as your friend, can I just remind you how much that girl looks up to you? Oh, I know what she says, Ken. Sometimes I think it's merely lip service. Tells me what I want to hear and then does precisely the opposite. Yes, and that can only be resolved by talking to her. I mean, the silent treatment is just going to drive her away. Forgive and forget. Yes, easier said than done sometimes. Uh, uh, no, no, I'll see you tomorrow. Right, OK. Bye. Hey. Hiya. I just thought, seeing as we're mates again now and that, you might like this. It's a sausage roll, last one. And I know how much you like them. Oh, so? Jack, I can smuggle it into the pub, wash it down with a pint. I've done it myself often enough. Only well, I could do with something to keep a watch out. What a mate. <laughs> you don't mind me, do <laughs> No, you bought me the food, so I suppose you should buy you a drink. If you fancy it. Sure. Only do we just have to be mates? What else have you got in mind? Well, you're the mind reader, you should know. Well, I don't like to abuse my talent. Well, if I promise not to be able like a numpty, I was hoping that we could go out again. Well, saves us making two other people miserable, doesn't it? few shifts just to help you out. Liz, I have done the rota plenty of times, you know. 
and deliveries don't sign for anything until you've checked it all, especially if that fair air Draymond's on. Oh, the one that brushes against you every chance he gets. He never does that to me. But he does always try and scam you. Liz, will you stop worrying? Listen, if you and Vernon had gone like you were going to, this place would have been mine. <laughs> Coffee and cob waiting. Double bacon egg, yeah? Oof, we have to make do with cheese, love the way I'm feeling. <laughs> See you later. Mwah. <laughs> You're late. Not much. Ooh, is that a kettle on? Starting the day as we mean to go on. Mm, you're lucky I'm here at all. I was that near to pulling a sickie. Morning. Oh, how nice to see someone bright and cheerful and ready for work. Don't start, eh? I've said I'm sorry. Actually, Becky, you didn't, but you could start by making the egg mayonnaise. Oh, oh. the stink of eggs and a catering jar of mayonnaise. <laughs> Do you know what that does to a sick stomach? You are not sick, you are hungover. <laughs> I'm early. I could do the filling. Uh, thank you, Ken, but we have routine. It's not open heart surgery. No one's going to die if he uses wrong knife. Well, uh, actually, designated cutlery is a safe. So I'm going to take ten minutes and I'm going to get myself sorted. See you in ten, Ken. Oi, Roy! Poetry! I'm not even trained up for it. How's it going? It's all right. It's great as it goes. Ooh, fancy a pint tonight? Yeah, why not? You, me and Jess? Aye, aye. <gasps> We're about together, aren't we? <laughs> oh, I'm made up for you about time too. Oh, we had such a great time. I can't stop smiling. <laughs> it suits you. You should bag a hunk more often. <laughs> Come here. Will you be rejoining us at some point? You started ten minutes ago. She's doing a good job. <laughs> yeah, she'd do a better one if every passing customer didn't engage her in gossip. Right, that's it. You are really, really getting on my wick now, right, Cropper? Oh, 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 oh. Staff relations never easy, is it? Well, nothing worthwhile ever is, which is why the easy option is rarely the right one. Sorry. People seem to think that they can treat each other. And themselves with contempt, and no one will ever suffer. Well, that young lady is easily hurt. She's fragile. Sorry, mate, you've, you've lost me there. I've worked in a bar before, so it's not like it were new to me. Yeah, but you did such a great job. And not just behind the bar, but. Collecting the glasses and going out to the smokers. You even stocked up the fruit juices. I like to be busy. <laughs> it's great in Rovers, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> you know, you enjoy your work if atmosphere's right, don't you? Well, listen, I am short-handed, so if you want a few more evenings... Well, yeah. And we could work out some regular shifts every week. I'm up for it. Great. OK, well, uh, let's say three or four to start with. Yeah. Becky, we need to oh, talk... to fit in with your work here, obviously. Um, come in after dinner and we'll work out the rotor, yeah? I will. Thanks. 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 Oi! Did you hear that? <laughs> I was saving that bit to last. I'll be your friendly barmaid. <laughs> what is it about today, eh? Me and Jace back together. A second job. If I approve of the lottery, I'll tell you to buy a ticket. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe I will. I think I'll take my break upstairs. I, I've just cleared this table for you. Uh, thank you, Ken, but I, I, I need a rest from the chatter and nonsense. Here we go. Becky's special intensive care. Horrible muesli, sour yoghurt. I'm not hungry. 
and a delicious glass of cranberry juice. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm really not hungry. Of course you are. It's good for the heart. It's not my heart I'm worried about. It's yours that's in danger. Dear, tough old bird like me. I know you think I'm all wrong. What you're doing is wrong, not you. Every time I turn round, you seem to be involved with yet another married man. Jason separated, and you're about Steve. It's all over. You've agreed to work in his pub on a regular basis. Why not? What is so terrible about taking on a job? Why can't you see how dangerous this is? You'll be working behind that bar with the wife of the man you've slept with. In a pub they both live in. You will be hurt, Becky. And you will end up hurting others. Right. You go off and slam doors then. I'll, I'll stop up here for my break, shall I? You do as you wish. Seems to be your philosophy anyway. Red or brown? Uh, brown, please. No, Becky. Uh, she's on a break. Her and Roy are taking it in turns to soak in the corner. And a row. Yeah, and a how. Becky's got a few shifts in the Rovers and Roy's not too happy about it. Well, they're always like that. She'll win him round. Unless Roy decides not to be his usual soft-hearted pushover self. Uh, Jason was just asking where Becky is. Thank you, Ken. I gathered that. You will be able to speak with Becky when she graces us with her presence again. Or after work. Which has the added bonus of being in her own time. Thanks, Ken. Pleasure. Enjoy. Yeah, well, thanks. Cheers. When do you want me to go for my dinner break? You've only just come back from coffee. Two hours ago. Oh, well, if you really feel you need yet another rest period. I'm not going to bed, Roy. Smoke and a bit of a break. Fine, whenever. So I can have whatever whenever. You know what? I give up. Norris is waiting. Oh. I, I feel like treated myself. Uh, well, what, what have you done? Oh, refuse, refuse, give me refuse. Is it that bad? You know, Uncle Albert had a World War II helmet. Have we still got it? Oh, oh. That Roy hasn't got any people skills. Have you sent that RSVP back to the university yet? Of course he hasn't. I haven't decided whether I'm going yet. Scared of finding out is the biggest failure of his year. Techno notice. She's got one of her moods on her. Oh, sit down, Norris. Don't wait for an invitation. Oh, uh, comfort drinking. <laughs> Hot chocolate. What's happened? Oh, nothing. Oh, a trouble shared. Is the trouble doubled? Is it Rita? Yes and no. Oh, it is then. What's she done? <laughs> it's what she's going to do. What? Oh, you can't just leave us hanging. Blanche, spare the thumb screws. Look, shush. Let him speak. Go on, Norris. You know you want to. Uh, I wish I could. <sighs> Sworn to secrecy. Have you done the poached eggs? Seeing as you're sitting there, eating them, must have. Ah, well, if you could just remember to tick them off the order. Give it to you. Satisfied! Well, a little less aggression would be nice, but thank you. Oh, you two, you're getting an audience. I'm sorry, Ken, I'm just getting a bit fed up with the running commentary of nag, nag, nag. You are playing with fire. I'm buttering cobs. You know very well what I'm talking about. You're just not up to real life with real people, you sad, lonely old bloke everyone laughs at. Well, I'd rather be laughed at for old-fashioned values than be despised for having the morals of a stray cat. Stray cat? So I am. Some mangy old cat on heat. I didn't say on heat. You didn't have to. If that's what you think about me, maybe I should move out. M m maybe you should. Roy! Uh, Becky! Sorry, Ken, we can manage. Look, is there anything I can do? Uh, Becky, are you all right? There's something you can do. There's something you can all do. You can all mind your own business and get back to your narrow
a little boring little smug little lives. Well, I, 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 I'm sorry, everyone. That 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 should not have happened. I, and I can't remember who ordered the toasted cheese. I'll do that, Roy. You need to speak to Beck. I need to get on with my work. Toasted cheese. Will Britain's oddest couple make up? Find out in Hub. So you're going. Said, isn't it? Uh, it's what you said, actually. Yeah, but it's what you want. I said it might be for the best, whether I want it or not. Oh, will you stop dribbling on with your long-winded reasons? It amounts to the same thing, doesn't it? You want me out. It's not exactly the same thing. Well, I don't see you trying to stop me. The fact is, we are never going to see eye to eye on this matter. So I'm going. Where, where, where will you go? You give a flying stink. I, I do care, actually, very much. Oh, you just want everyone to behave like you. That is not true. Although my principles have been compromised. I mean, you can't eat, you said. I just want what is best for you. You know what, Roy? I've always stuck up for you when people say you're weird. Well, not anymore. In future, I'm going to join in. How very grown up of you. I'm going to laugh at Ailey and all because she's an even weirder freak than you. I see. I'm packing me job in. I'll get out of this nut house completely. Well, you. If that's the way you feel, I'll let you get on with it. Hey, Roy, having a clear out? I would say that. Hey, what's wrong? He's kicked me out, Annie, because of Steve. Look, I knew things were bad. Do you want me to go and have a word? No, you're all right. I could always persuade him, you know. Yeah, well, it wasn't exactly him who did it. Then what? He's just... He's been on my case every day. I couldn't take it anymore. Do you mean you walked? Yeah, but he didn't try and stop me. Can you, can you not go back and make up? Some terrible things to him, Lloyd. Come on, come on. Let's go and find someone to talk. Come on. <sighs> I'm gonna write Pig's ear a bit. What did you say to him? I called him a sad old weirdo everyone laughs at. <laughs> Nothing like the truth. Especially when it's your boss, eh? But he's a fairly forgiven bloke, isn't he? If you just go back and... Then I said Ailey were an even weirder freak than him. I know, I know, I just... He were calling me all sorts and I just went. Well, he can be a bit tricky to deal with once he's got the bit between his teeth. He didn't deserve that, though, did he? Him and Ailey aren't a mean bone in the bodies. They've done all they can to help me. This is our paying back. I must need my head uh, seen to. So where are you going to stay? I haven't a clue. I mean, I I'd put you up, but I've just asked Vernon to stay. Getting all roads on today, aren't you? What about Jason? I don't know the room. Anyway, it's a bit rich, isn't it? Rose chucked me out because I've cheated on you. Is it all right if I come and stay? Right, you've got to stay somewhere. I'll go back to Hostel if I have to. But at the end of the world. All of this because of one night stand? All of this because I got found out. 25p more down the road, Roy. Bacon butties. What's that, sir? Yeah, man, I'll tell you that. You put the price up, eh? <gasps> Here he is. Come to see his little Becky. No. <clears throat> Where is she then? I don't know, ma'am. We're not joined yet. Oh, and is our Jason disappointed? Yeah, I'm thinking of getting some pros out to help me cope. Oh, you 
blokes would talk about your feelings. Oh, give over. It's true, though. It's not an exclusively male problem, actually. Sorry? Some women find it just as hard as men to talk about their feelings, if not more so. Right. It's also my experience that women are just as likely as men to say things they don't mean because they are unable to articulate what they do mean. The things that can be quite hurtful sometimes. So you and Ellie had a row or something? No, relations between us are extremely cordial, thank you. Oh, right. <laughs> I'll bear what you've said in mind, Roy. Do. If you want me to go and find Becky and have a word with her? That won't be necessary, thank you. Or if you need to talk about it? Oh, please. Not that expression. Need to talk about it. That's all anyone ever says these days. What good does it do? Society is falling apart. The Tower of Babel babbles on as never before. That's not what you said half an hour ago. You said people didn't talk enough. I know. And I also know I, I should have said where Becky was when Eileen asked about her. I, I, I'm sorry if, if I snapped. Look, I know from Tracy what daughters can be like. And not, not that Becca's your daughter. No, but, but it is comparable. They say cruel things, so you say them back. And neither of you means them, but... But you can't unsay them. Very well put. <laughs> hey, I'm not here. What are you doing? I'm having my dinner. What's wrong with a calf? Now your stuff. What's happened? I've had a big bust up with Roy. Why, right, because of the Rovers? What? Well, Ken said that Roy was miffed because of all the extra shifts you were doing there. That's part of it. Well, what else? He just kept getting on my nerves, trying to control me all the time. I flipped and walked out. So why didn't you come and see me? Well, I run into her as she was leaving, so... Oh, oh we're going to wait till you finish work. So you've got nowhere to live? Well, you have to come and stay with me, then, won't you? Really? Well, that's if you want to. I know, that'd be brilliant. What, you won't mind? Well, you'll have no choice. Well, I'm in a rush, I'll have to speak to you in a bit, all right? Of course. Hey. You are, right, aren't you? Not too upset. No, I'm fine. Well, I'll see you in a bit. Cheer up. You've landed on your feet. Yeah, but I've had to lie to him. <sighs> now you know how I feel, love. I know how Roy feels and all. Oh, how was it? Terrible. Right on the main road. Cramped. Damp in the bathroom. But it's ours. You're taking it. Had no choice. Can't afford anything better. So when do you move in then? Next week. Oh, great. Or is it? A bit scary. Why? Will we manage? Oh, of course we will. Oh, all them extra bills and rent to pay. <laughs> You'll be fine. Hi, guys. Hiya. Hey, we found a flat. Oh, good, cos uh, Becky's crashing here for a bit. Oh, why, what's happened? I had a row with Roy. I'm really sorry, Eileen. Becky, there's no need to apologise. She's only going to be in my room, so she's not going to get in anyone's way. So, do you know how long for? Just so she finds her feet. Come on, I'll show you where you put your stuff. Well, I know where it is. I'll just go dump it. Mm. You don't mind, do you? Would have been nice to have been asked. Well, I couldn't let her live on the street, ma'am. Anyway, we're going to go away for a bit. Have a break together. It's what you call slowing the relationship down. Yeah, she's getting her claws into you now. No, she's not. So what was the row about? Don't know, just weren't getting on or something. Is that why Roy was in the mood at dinner time? Oh, yeah, probably. Um, back in a tick, I've just got to go do something. Right. <clears throat> Don't look like you're getting the house back. I should just open a B&B &B and have done with it. I'm sorry you've had such a bad day. Well, you look happy at least. Yes, yes, it's something Roger said. I think I will go to the reunion after all. Oh, good, good. And if they want to laugh at me, that's their problem. That's a healthy approach to life, and I should know. <laughs> 
Right, well, uh, I'll get off. Uh, uh, th thank you, Ken. Uh, see you tomorrow. Yeah. I've come to say sorry. I didn't mean them things what I said. Yes. Well, I, I, I said things in the heat of the moment which I regret, so I'm sorry too. You and Ailey have been really good to me and, well... What, what, whatever we've done, we've done because we, we care about you. I know. I just get frustrated because we are so different. As long as we remain on good terms, it pains me to have this rift between us. Me and all. So, um, have you found somewhere to live? I'm staying at Jason's for a bit. Oh, good. And uh, how are you for money? Well, uh, I've got that work at Rovers. But if you feel you were hasty in giving up your job here, I'd be happy to have you back. Is that because you want me here? Because you don't want me there. We'd soon be back to where we were, wouldn't we? Just promise me you'll look after yourself. I will. 